product that when we first released the Roto Grip, I think it was the intent and the design of what I think a lot of customers wanted. Um, essentially, this is what we're calling the double header with dual Roto Grips. So the double header is going to be the base of the product. It basically creates a, a track splitter mounted on a single surface. Uh, and in this specific configuration, it's going to be paired with two Roto Grip paddle holders. And the advantage of that, what it's going to do, it's going to get your paddle off the side of the boat. One of that, you're going to be able to put it, easily able to put it in reach, um, but it's also what it's going to do, instead of putting two rotor grips on a single piece of track by itself, uh, where your entire paddle takes up your entire length of track, that's just a waste of track space, um, since it's going to open up all that real estate. So if you only have eight inches of track and you don't want to put two rotor grips there, the double header is going to make it to where you could have another accessory and then your dual paddle holders. So first thing with the double header with dual rotor grips is going to come with what we call two track disc. And so two track disc, one of them is going to be designed for regular standard Yak Attack track. And then the one on the bottom is going to be designed for top loading Yak Attack gear track. And the big difference being the top loading track, uh, it's featured on a couple bona fides. It's featured on uh, the new New Canoe Unlimited and a, some other boats in the industry, um, but essentially the track's a little bit wider. So the top loading disc is gonna have a little wider teeth and the standard disc is gonna have a little bit, a bit more narrow teeth. And if you have, whether it's a native or a wilderness systems, um, try each one of them. You know, see which disc is, is gonna work better for you. Um, but once you find that, um, it's just gonna slide in the track uh, nice and easy. I just like the rest of Yak Attack products. And then um, tighten with a knob and that gives you that really, really simple paddle holder that's mounted off the side of the boat. So what that's gonna do, it's gonna give you a nice spot to grab your hand and pull out that paddle. So you're not gonna hit your knuckles and it's gonna be nice and designed the way it should be. Um, in addition to the two rotor grips, it's also gonna have uh, the new snap and strap tether system. Um, so you can see as it's in its, uh, its stowed position, basically the snap and straps uh, the security tether is mounted out of the way. So maybe someone for like me, uh, personally, you know, whether I'm out there with a motor on my kayak or not, um, I, I'm, I'm used to having a paddle in my hand. It's kind of a little bit of comfort for me, um, whether I'm in, you know, offshore, or whether I'm in some white water, whether I'm in, you know, any sort of current or whatever, I like to have a paddle with me. Um, but when I'm not needing it, I can throw it down quick and easy. Um, so I might not worry about the straps too much, um, but if you're the type of angler that you're just, you're so accustomed to your pedal drive uh, and so accustomed to your motor where you're not using your, your paddle throughout the day frequently, um, go ahead and essentially just take that tether, hook it around the shaft of your paddle on the opposite side of that rotor grip and your paddle's locked in place. You, know, you, got, you got two of those, one on each side, and that's gonna make it to where that paddle is locked in place and ready to go. So it is stuck there and when you need it, take the tethers off and if you wanna, if you wanna store them in the stored position, cool. If not, um, they're just gonna stay like that. So um, that's still gonna allow you easy opportunity to get that paddle out. So also with the double header, one thing you'll see on top is something we're gonna do with a lot more of our products. Um, and what it is, essentially, it's gonna say lock and load ready. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna make it to where if you're extremely limited on track space, let's say you only have maybe a four inch piece of track or an eight inch piece of track and you already have maybe a track mounted retractor there for your pliers or boga grips, that's gonna make it to where you can get any other, for the most part, any other Yak Attack accessory, whether it's a Yak Attack multi-mount cup holder, an articulating camera mount, or in this case, something that's lock and load specific, uh, being maybe a rod holder or a, you know a small, panfish portrait uh, camera mount. To an attach an additional accessory to the double header, essentially all you've got to do is just remove this knob. So remove your attachment knob. And in this case, I'm going to use a, a multi-mount cup holder. And that, that's something that I'm probably, it's the way I'm probably going to use it is that maybe a Zuka tube rod holder. Um, but I'm going to remove, just going to remove the mighty bolt out of my cup holder. That's all I'm going to do. Take that. And then I'm going to take the rubber washer underneath cup holder. 
that's going on. So I'm gonna take that, just tighten it down. And basically what you're doing there is you're just, you're turning the multi-mount cup holder into the knob. So it's replacing the fastening knob and now you have a simple cup holder that I can still easily get my paddle in and out of that. I can store a water bottle here. I could store some type of stainless tumbler. I could store some bags of soft, soft plastic. So it, it creates it to where part of kayak fishing and part of Yak Attack is small space organization. So, you know, for me and what we do at Yak Attack, that's what we do best. So this makes it to where you can cram a lot of stuff into a tight space. Um, so this is kind of the setup that I'm gonna use, um, but I'm gonna show a couple others of other options that if you don't have a multi-mount cup holder or you would like to do something else, this is gonna be a couple different options that you have. So let's say you wanted to attach a action camera. I'm just gonna take, this is our articulating camera mount. So I'm gonna take the mighty bolt in the bottom of that screwball. Let's take that mighty bolt all the way out. And essentially that's gonna become the knob of my double header. And once that's on there, you're good to go. Change the angle, put it back towards yourself. And I could still easily get that paddle in and out, but I've also got my action camera there. So that's two unique ways of using the lock and load location for some other products that aren't necessarily lock and load specific. So that's gonna be some unique mounts. And then if you wanna use an actual lock and load featured product, this is gonna be the Omega Pro rod holder. All I've gotta do is open my trigger and I'm gonna get my lock and load track base and I'm gonna remove the T-bolt completely as well. Basically the T-bolt that's included with the double header is gonna be the only T-bolt I'll need. So I'll take, you know, with the washer and the two track teeth facing down, it's gonna sit into the two recessed areas on the double header. And then the knob, fastening knob of your lock and load tightens the whole system down. So that makes it to where, you know, I can have an easy rod holder up front. Um, and for me, I like, you know, personally I prefer the Zuka 2 in that location uh, in front of me. Uh, I like to just you know, open the bail of my reel, toss it in real quick into the Zuka, and then whether I'm retying a lure or I'm unhooking a fish, that makes it to where I can have a real simple rod holder up front, um, but out of the way. So a couple cool options for utilizing some Yak Attack accessories with the double header. So the rotor grips at the end of the double header basically have a nylon lock nut on the underside that maintains constant pressure. And on the inside, there's gonna be some teeth that come up that interlock into the rotor grip. So they're not gonna to wanna to move a lot. They're basically locked in place, but they are designed to rotate if you'd like it to. Let's say you have it off the side of your boat and you really maybe you wanted to use it for some rod stagers. You're able to take it, apply a little pressure, and they are gonna rotate. So if you pick it up one day in your gearbox and it moved, um, essentially all you gotta do is you'll feel it snap in place. So you can pick it up, move it, and maybe move this one to where you know you have off the side, you got two simple little rod stagers for your rod tips. Uh, could be an option. The double header with dual roto grip is made in the United States. And if you'd like more information or where to find a dealer near you, visit yakatech.us.